Welcome back to Joe's Smart Tools. In our session today, we are solving another algebraic equation. And if you're ready, let's get started. We're going to begin solving our equation by first collecting our like term. Now, luckily for us in this equation, we don't have to do anything other than collect our like terms and solve for our unknown variable m. Now, in this case, I'm always going to always try to eliminate having to deal with as much negatives as possible. So, what I'm going to be doing is moving my 3 to my 9 since my 3 is smaller than my 9. That way I won't have to worry about dealing with any negative numbers as it relates to my constant. And 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. I'm going to return my negative 5m or my minus 5m. Put back my negative 2m. And now I'm going to move my 5 since it's already negative and it is larger than my negative 2 to the left hand side of my equation where I will have negative 2m being added to my 5m equals the 6. And we know that when negative 2m subtract or is added to 5m, this will equal to 3m equals the 6. And now I'm going to be dividing both sides of my equation by 3 to get my unknown variable m on one side of the equation by itself. So 3 divided by 3 will equal to just m. And 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Okay, so we found that m is equal to 2. Okay, so let's check our answer. So when m is equal to 2, that means I'm going to substitute that m back into my equation. Everywhere that m appears, I'm going to replace it with 2. So 3 minus 2, substituting in my 2 for m, equals to my 9 minus 5, and substituting my 2 for my m, and now I'm going to solve the left hand side of my equation and then do the exact same thing on my right hand side. Remembering that our whole goal is to make sure that both sides of this equation equal to the exact same answer. Okay, so using PEMDAS, I'm going to solve my parentheses first. So 2, negative 2 times 2 will equal to negative 4, return by 3, and 3 minus 4 will equal to negative 1. Okay, so now let's do the same thing on the right hand side. So negative 5 times 2 is equal to negative 10. We're going to put back our 9. And when 9 minus 10 is equal to negative 1. So since both sides of our equation equal to negative 1, that means that my m equals 2 is the correct answer for our equation. Okay, so there you have it. We just had another easy equation that we quickly solve and making sure that both sides of our equation equal to the exact same amount. And remember that whenever you solve this equation, always apply a substitution rule and check your answer by plugging it back into your equation. This step is very vital and very important to helping you confirm whether you really worked this question out correctly. But remember when you're ready to find more equations just like the ones we did today, make sure you return back to choose math tools where we make math easy.